Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer Part 2. I didn't realize until I went to uh, to make sure the volume was okay and I didn't do anything nuts or anything with the with the audio um, that I realized, wow, the computer kicked me off before we were done. I don't know what happened, but anyway, here we go again. So, um, welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. It's Thursday. And on Thursdays and Fridays, I like to kind of pray off scripture, like either riff off of the scripture, using it as a conversation starter, or like today we're going to just pray the psalm, just pray the psalm. I will be praying on Sunday. If your church follows a lectionary, chances are good that you'll be praying Psalm 137 if you decide to go to church or however that's happening for you guys now for you all right now, and I hope you're doing it safely, of course. But Psalm 137 is in the lectionary for this coming Sunday. It's a psalm of grief. It's a psalm for the heartbroken. It's a psalm for people who can't even imagine the strength to ever celebrate again. Um... Folks who've ever seen the, the play, the musical play, Godspell, you might recognize uh, the psalms as being from the lyrics of one of the heartbreaking songs sung over the meal before Jesus died. Okay. So let's begin, as always, in the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. And um, let's take a couple deep breaths together just to come back to now. And we do this after the sign of the cross because this too is part of our prayer. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us right here, right now. So coming back to right here, right now is prayer. So the classic way to do that is to focus on the breath. I'm also consciously rolling my shoulders up and down, back down, to release some tension in my neck. You can concentrate on the feeling of your feet where they're resting on the floor. Or your hands, where are they? The idea is to come back to now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, friend, for sharing that time with me, that moment. I always take at least two breaths because for me, the first breath is a matter of, I guess, quieting down like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just breathing now. Okay, okay. <laughs> then the second breath, I can relax into it. So Psalm 137, <clears throat> it's a psalm for the bereaved. Those who are grieving, um, it's a psalm of refugees. And, well, I don't even know if that's the right word. <laughs> are you a refugee if you're dragged forcibly from your land? I guess not. Never mind. Not a song of refugees. <laughs> Although I bet a lot of refugees could relate. So, um, people are dragged out of their homes, violently, in a war situation, dragged to a foreign place, and, well, let's just pray it, because, again, this isn't a Bible study, um, and I think the psalm kind of resonates for those who are grieving, so let's just pray together, and I hope that you are not in a place of grief, but if you are, please know that. Um, obviously, you're not alone, that you're, despite feeling alone, which is a natural condition of grief, you are connected in this long line of people, not only through space, but through time. And I hope that we all can find some hope in knowing that others have been through this horror. So, anyway... Let's begin as always. Oh, 
by asking the Holy Spirit to come and bless our prayer. So um, I'm going to do it the churchy way in my community. That means, well, we usually sing it. I won't sing, but I'll say one line, and then you repeat the chorus, right? And then I'll signal when it's time to repeat the chorus. So let's go. Excerpts from Psalm 137. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. For there our captors asked of us the lyrics of our songs. And our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Most High God in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not. If I don't place Jerusalem, Ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Abba, we entrust to you our tender love, to your gentle care, all those who grieve this day. All those who have buried loved ones, all those separated through imprisonment or illness or distance or just by the love of trying to keep one another safe, those who are separated from people they care about. Oh God, have mercy. Have mercy on those who grieve. Have mercy, Lord. And as they cry out in pain, let their song of heartbreak be heard by heaven. And when they enter into that quiet place of where there's your voice is just gone, that deadness inside that you get in the worst of it. May your voice of hope still somewhere underneath the pain sing and comfort them. We know so many people who've lost loved ones to COVID and not to COVID. Comfort us, Abba. Comfort. Would you comfort rest upon your people? Already, as the first anniversaries roll in, even in my own community. Oh, Lord, have mercy and comfort. Comfort your people and help us to be gentle with one another. Help us to be gentle and loving and to always recognize your image and respect your image in one another. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish you peace this day, my friends. In the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. <laughs>